All righty. So pledge allegiance to whatever you have to pledge allegiance to if you feel like doing that. Um, if not, let us go to the minutes. Does anyone have any comments upon the minutes? My name is, was left off as uh, one who was attending, but other than that, I looked pretty good. All right, does anyone have anything else? All right, I move that we accept the minutes as amended with Anne added to the attendees list. Thank you. Can I get a second? I second. All in favor, aye. Any opposed? Aye. You opposed or are you eyeing? Pat. Pat, Pat are you okay? Are opposing or are you I eyeing? I said aye. Oh, okay. I said aye. Okay. Uh, All righty. Excellent. Um, on to the financial report. Now, I noticed that for the financial report, we had received $900 associated with the vehicle maintenance for the um, for the bookmobile. I assume that's from the insurance settlement from when we got hit? Yep. Um, did anyone else have any comments or whatever? I do. I, do. Yes? I have a question. Um, I've got so many notes, I can't find which. Uh, under expenses, personnel, overtime, and holiday pay was $4,659. And I want to know, since we're not open such long hours that we have to have somebody working overtime, how, how come? We've always, I, we've always been open on the holidays. It's typically 10 to 6. We've been open 9 to 5 on the holidays. So that actually hasn't changed for us. I'm not really clear on that. We've staffed all the holidays so far this year. We've staffed them the same way for the last couple of years in that typically we're open to the public for eight hours. So that's why the expense is still up there like that. All right, okay. Thank you. IT is paid overtime. Um, Deb and Brian alternate every other Sunday. So one of them is paid, um, you know, a Sunday is always overtime. And so one of them is paid. There's some update that they have to monitor or do. So it's usually about an hour and a half or two hours. And, you know, overtime that does add up as well. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other comments upon the un or the, the treasurer's report? All right, can I get someone to move it? I move that we accept it as as uh, reported, as recorded. I guess I could say. All right, uh, can I get a second? I'll second. All right, all in favor? <laughs> aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed? No. Excellent. <clears throat> on, on to the unpaid bills. Sorry. Um, uh, unpaid bills. Does anyone have any questions, comments, issues? No, but I'm, I'm interested to know what painting with coffee grinds is. <laughs> I throw mine out. <laughs> maybe I could be making a million if I used them, huh? I guess maybe it would be You're like supposed to compost them. <laughs> oh, you should sign up for the class, Anne. Philomena is a lot of fun. She, no matter what she paints with, she'll be fun. You should, you should try it out. Yeah. She's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, there was an artist back in the 1700s, and I can't think of his name at the moment, who used to paint with, amongst other things, tobacco juice. Oh. And his, 
paintings, he used a lot of other strange things, but his paintings haven't really held up too well. They tend to all kind of slump. <laughs> they probably disintegrate after all that <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> Attract bugs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I move that we uh, pay the unpaid bills. The general fund, I guess, is uh, one amount. Um, and then there's a grant fund. Just general this time. Just general? So, okay. Yeah. General fund is $56,548.11. Okay, so Ann moved it. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All righty, excellent. And we've already approved. Okay, so then there's the. Did I do that twice? Whoops. Um, <laughs> then we, you also got the the unpaid bills for April seventh, which we already paid. And that means that we are on to correspondence. Nothing. Nothing. No. Yeah. Slow month. All righty. Well, in that case, we're on to uh, we're on to the me report. Um, How about so, director? Oh, the, no, the president's report. And then oh, the president's first. Okay. Yes. Okay. So president's report. Um, <clears throat> I have arranged with our attorney to meet on March 27th to go over <laughs> our platform no. for, for, the, um, for the negotiations. If you guys have any thoughts about that. And, April, um, it's April 27th. No, no, yeah, April, oh my God. Yes, I, I retroactively went back in time and arranged that with her. Um, yeah. So April 27th. Uh, um, and uh, if you guys have thoughts on what you think should be in the contract before then, let me know. Um, we'll be meeting at nine o'clock in um, the conference room at the library. Ron, if you could um, reserve the room. I imagine there's not a particularly large rush of people wanting to hold meetings at the library at the moment, but um, no, you, you, no one's in competition with you. Okay, excellent. Then we will be meeting for the first negotiation session on um, May 18th um, at 1030, but meeting beforehand so we can, you know, get ourselves so, together. So the lawyer is meeting with us? The lawyer is meeting point. with us so that she knows what she's negotiating. Yeah. Um, and has she had a copy of, she's had a copy of the past negotiations? She's had a copy of the past contract. Ron contract, her, yeah. I forget how many weeks ago it was. A while. Yeah. So if any of you guys have questions about that or would like to participate, do let me know. Um, I think that's about it from me. Yeah. Ron, take it away. Okay. Hopefully you've all had a chance to look at the New York State Report. It's an annual requirement. It goes to the Division of Library Development. Uh, get most of our figures from Southern Tier Library System. That's particularly regulation. We provide the program statistics and the financials come from our uh, annual financial report. So it's, it's, uh, I don't want to say it's a cut and paste, but it's a lot of it is already pre-filled and you'll notice not a lot changes from year to year, except for the, the program numbers and the, and the funding. And the new mm -hmm. COVID stuff. There was a, there was, a lot. That of was, that, that was new. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. 
there was a different format because they used to write on the same page show what this year is and last year was. But this, yeah. they didn't do that this year. I mean, it, since obviously it's going to be very different, it, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Well, I, I'll be honest with you, Phyllis. I hope they bring back the two columns so you can go back and look at the previous year and you'll have a good... Um, Make it easier to figure full, complete, and it also makes it easier to, to know what's going on, really. Yeah, I mean, I keep a report, and usually at the end of the year, I'll take the figures from the annual report, and I've got a spreadsheet on it that goes back to, I think, 2010. So if anybody's interested, I'll make sure I update it, and I can send it to you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send me anything else. <laughs> well, I'm just offering it. A, did everyone have a chance to take a look at that? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, it looked great. Okay, I move that we approve the New York State Annual Report. I second. Oh, go ahead. Kevin got it. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, it is approved by the board. Okay. Next. Next thing would be the approval of personnel actions. Mm hmm Again, standard contractual step increases. That's great. I'll make a, mo a motion that we approve the personnel actions as shown. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Excellent. Okay, was there anything else that you needed to discuss, Ron? I do, we do have to go into executive session at the end. It oh. hopefully be pretty quick. Um, next thing I had, the marketing committee is working on a funding request. We had a small sum of money set aside for marketing in previous years but now they're looking to get a dedicated line item for marketing. So I've got them working on a request. Some of the things they're talking about are a, creating a CCLD wide commercial spot for summer reading club. Hmm. They're asking if uh, we'd be willing to buy a jingle, you know, something that's catching and sticks in the brain long after somebody has watched the commercial. I told them, Give me more information so we can talk about it. Uh, Where does one even the acquire next a jingle? <laughs> That's part of my question to them. I, I made the assumption that if we continue to use the resources we have and maybe do some public service announcements, that would be the music we could add to the public service announcement so it would be consistent. That is, that is my assumption based on one conversation. Okay, so we're gonna wait. I know a minute. local musician, John Manfredi's done a bunch of jingles locally. Oh, really? I know he's he did the one for uh, St. Joseph's Hospital, which I can't think of right now, but whenever I hear it, I hear his voice in there. It's like him and another woman. <laughs> oh, great. There we go. Yeah, I'll get you more information again. They're gonna have a meeting. Uh, they're currently working on updating the draft plan. They're incorporating all the changes they made since the last meeting. Uh, we talked earlier last month I th or two months ago about the direct access plan. The proposed plan, it reads exactly as the 2017 to 2021 direct access plan. Uh, they had a deadline for comments, which was March 26th. We reviewed it at the March 31st Director's Advisory Council meeting, and based on director's input, it appeared that there were no revisions needed. So we've already signed, so we're a, a step ahead of a lot of the other libraries in the, in the system. Got an email today from New York State Division of Library Development. All central libraries are now required to be open 55 hours a week, effective June 1st. Uh, hopefully you are aware we're currently open 56 hours a week, so we already meet that requirement. There's been a good discussion on the uh, 
central library listserv, a lot of people are saying they can't make the deadline. There's like 23 central libraries throughout the state. And I've seen four or five that have said they cannot make the deadline. But again, we're already meeting it. So it's not something we need to worry about. So is that like an average or is it like that literally every week they have to be open that many hours because normally our summer hours are slightly shorter. So We're actually, our, our summer hours are 56. So oh, okay. six hours right now. So we're, we're, again, we're just doing it as normal for us. Phyllis, do you like Acord and TV? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you like Acorn TV? Yes. Well, I got bad news for you. Oh. <laughs> Why? As we're losing Acorn TV as of May 14th. If you have any credit remaining, they'll transfer that credit over to our OverDrive account for use in either database or streaming media services. We don't know what happened or why. Um, I'm trying to get more information, but I, I know Phyllis liked it, so. I, I think I should tell you now rather, rather than you try to access it at home. <laughs> You've been working on that all, all year trying to lose that thing, haven't you? <laughs> no, no. We, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we, I, we have no control. I mean, it's kind of sad. I know. We lost the Freegal. We were the number one user in the system, but none of the other libraries used it, so. Yeah, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Friends of the library, I know members of the Friends of the library used to use it too. But yeah, so I wasn't uh, the only one. <laughs> no, no, I know there, there were people who talked about it, but I just remembered you seemed to like it quite a bit. So it, you it was it those too. old English show mysteries and stuff that used to be on PBS. If you could watch it when you wanted to instead of at a certain time. Can't yeah. you get those on Passport or something? Uh, I don't no, know. No, they take them off after a while. Yeah. Oh. You can only get them for a couple of, of months. Sit <laughs> down, Nappy. They just play that continuously. Okay. That's all I have, Rachel. Okay. Does, uh, in that case, we are on to the Executive Committee. Has everyone seen the minutes for that? Does anyone have yes. any questions about anything that was discussed in the minutes? Nope. Okay, then on to the finance committee with Jack, who is not here. But basically, we just approved the bills and then logged off after five minutes. Yeah. So, it, it wasn't much of a meeting. But does anyone have any questions about the minutes? Oh, nope. Okay. And then on to buildings and grounds. So I didn't make the building grounds meeting. I, uh, I'm sorry. I've gotten, I'm, now that I'm vaccinated, I've started doing things outside and I forget I need to check schedules. <laughs> and I double booked myself. <laughs> so I don't know if there was much to do, Ron, that you can talk about. <laughs> no, the only thing is Marchuska Brothers did come in. They finished all the touch-ups mm -hmm. for Bob Butcher to send me the approved uh, payroll. They'll be expecting, a, I think it's 20-something thousand dollar payment. We still have a 5% retainage fee. We'll have to uh, pay, but we won't get to that probably for at least another month. So that's the only uh, on the break room. Holly said that the tile, the ceiling tiles are installed. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that looks it good. Looks pretty good. I, are they using it yet? No, uh, no. We're still using the auditorium because of the social distancing. So in fact, uh I, I haven't even gotten tables or chairs yet because I don't want to encourage people from going in there and using it. We've got our protocol for COVID. No, I know it sounds crazy. I know. But we got the protocol for COVID in the auditorium. 
So we want to stay consistent until a little bit further down the road. So speaking of COVID and the auditorium, I understand that the new CDC guidance is that it doesn't stick to, that the COVID doesn't stick to objects unless you're like licking them 30 seconds after somebody else licked them. Yeah, so apparently. Are we still doing the, the quarantining or no. that? We've dropped the quarantine down to 24 hours. Uh, that was a recommendation that I talked to Brian Hildreth from STLS, and we talked about it at the last Director's Advisory Council. Uh, CCLD has already started doing it. I don't know the status of the other libraries in the system. Okay. So that must free up the space that was being used uh, with all of those books. That must be nice. Yes, yeah. yeah. And what is the state of the staff vaccines? Do you, do you know what the percentage is of who's got no, it? Or? No, I do not because I can't ask. No, you can't. Oh, right with the HIPAA. Okay. We, have, we have been sending out messages about uh, available shot clinics and all that other stuff. But then I, a couple people have said to me they got their vaccines but I have no idea about the staff, the, the, the overall number. Oh. Righto. Okay. Um, you, the, uh, the, the report uh, says something about uh, adult reference department requests more office space. Um, I guess that's something that you're looking at now. Yeah, I gotten a few uh, hand-drawn diagrams as to how to reconfigure the area, oh. but I haven't heard back from Shimon County if they have any movable wall units. Okay. I, I want to have a conversation with each of the librarians so I can get a better understanding of what it is they're looking for. Yeah. I mean, I may have Doris Jean stay in the teen room she currently has a desk in adult reference. Oh. We've put up uh, space for Maggie to work outside the office. We'll probably keep that. So that will remove, that'll remove two of the desks. So that should free up a lot of space. So hopefully we can sure. minimum six feet apart, which I believe they already are six feet. But oh, sure. they're a little concerned. Yeah. Um. This is sort of backtracking, but I realized that we forgot to have to vote to have Ron sign the bills. Yes. So mm -hmm. I move that we have Ron sign the bills. Can I get a second, please? Sure. Second. I'll... Yep. All right. I'm, there were like three of you who raised your hands, so duke it out. But all in favor? Aye. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All righty. Ron, thank you for paying the bills. All righty. I have um, a question about the pavilion at Horseheads. Yeah. Where is it going to be? Do you know where the where shed at is? Horseheads? Do you know where the shed is behind the, the building? Yeah. It's going to be next to that. Sort of. So there will be parking removed or? No, no. It's going on what's grass right now. Oh, good. We, we okay. own quite a bit of land out there, but it's pretty much unusable because once you go out a certain distance, it starts to slow off to a little, oh, off okay. to a little creek. Oh, now, I see. My question about the pavilion and the creek. So we had to get, you know, flood insurance for that because creek. With the pavilion and the water table, uh, how's that, how's that going to go? It's at the same elevation as the building itself, so we shouldn't okay. have to. Hmm. Okay. All right. And Andrew's going to do all the work and pay for it. Is that the plan? Or the, the Horseheads Foundation is paying for it. Basically, oh, okay. they said, tell us how much and we'll write you a check. Oh. But as, as a scout who's trying to get an eagle, he probably has to raise some of that funds himself. That's uh, 
That's usually what happens. He can't right. do it. But yeah. he got his his funding contribution was going to the Horseheads Foundation and having them fund it. Oh, I see. And that's okay. perfectly acceptable for Boy Scouts. Okay. All righty. Um, there's nothing on that that we need to vote on at this time, correct? No. Excellent. Does anyone else have any questions about that? Nope. Okay. Cool. Personnel committee. Personnel committee. Um, yeah, we met this week um, to go over all the evaluations. Thank you to everyone who took their time to do so. Um, was much appreciated. We had a, a better response this year than last year. So definitely an appreciation. I'm, I know we appreciate it. I know Ron appreciates, appre appreciates it. It's great feedback. Um, we're going to be meeting with Ron in the coming weeks and then we'll represent again in next month. Okay, thank you. Election and continuity. <clears throat> the, nothing has changed this month. Next month we will have a full report unless Anne wants to add anything. Not yet. No, I'm still, still okay. waiting. Okay. Then there's no changes and we'll have a report next month, May. All right, thank you. No, normally we have the audit in May. Is that correct or is that in June? I We're still waiting to hear from her when she's gonna come. We actually used to have them visit in April because oh. always at West Elmira. That's right, I forget, I remember that. Well, I guess they'll get to us when they get to us. Um, yeah. All right, uh, advocacy committee that we don't have. No, we don't. <laughs> I wish somebody um, would speak up and take that over. <laughs> do we want to do the new business and then do the um, the executive session rather than do the executive session and the new business? That way it's all one recording. So tell us about the teen library card, Ron. Well, I, I sent out the basic information yeah. Really nothing has changed from what I sent out. They can come in with a school ID, photo. Uh, they can get a card that allows them to take out three items. They will get our spending policy mailed to their home. They can come in with their parent or adult guardian who can then sign the form and they can then get a full library card. Okay, does anyone have any thoughts, questions, comments upon that? Do we have to make a resolution to pass this? Well, I, I was waiting until May because I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to figure out if you had any issues with it. I think it sounds like a good idea. We talked about it earlier. I guess it was at the executive meeting. Yeah, yeah. We can do it whenever you think. Okay. Yeah. Does anyone does anyone else have any thoughts upon it that we need to discuss so that we can make intelligent voting decisions in May? <laughs> are they are they ever? <laughs> well, we hope they're intelligent voting decisions. I mean <laughs> Yeah. That's the goal. Okay. Well I, I think it I think it seems like a good idea. And, you know, we minimize our risk by only having them do three items at a time. And, you know, but at the same time, we're like treating them like adult-ish in the sense that we're saying, hey, you can be responsible for yourself. And I think a lot of teens will appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And especially if we're like trying to sucker them into the teen room. Exactly. We're no longer in a plague situation. It makes sense that we try and get them hooked on using our books yeah. or videos or whatever. Yep. yep. Does anyone else have any thoughts? Is there anything else that we need to discuss before we enter executive session?
Okay, in that case, I move that we enter executive session. Second. Can I get a second? Oh, oh there he is. Seconding? Alrighty, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so Ron, please stop the recording. <laughs>